Hey there, so I was gonna show you how I ring my bell. That's my dog's bed in the background. Guess I need to make it up. Anyway, it's kinda weird. Um, so obviously we, it's hard to see in here. Anyway, you have the part with the paint and then you have a brass side and you have a brass side and you got this little thing. So what I do is I put my two fingers, well, depending how big your hands are, where you can hold, but I put my two fingers up here. I put it right on the, the brass part here. And then I point it forward. Well, I guess I can do it left-handed. But anyway, so I just point it forward and just give it a little tap. Then, may, then I make it go around in a circle. Because I'm holding it up on the ends like this. So what I do is I, I, I just give it one little tap. I go... And that's how I use it. So what I'll do is, especially like I'll ring it, I mean, I go like this to my heart area. You know, you can do your chakras, you can do your throat area. I like to use it for chakra tune-ups. You can do it, you know, obviously to your head. It's also kind of cool, you can do a little ring and go by your ear, bring it around your ear. That it's also, so um, basically, I use the bell for, uh, I use the bell for sound healing is what I do. And it also clears the negative energy in the room. Like if you, if you go around, if you go into each corner of your house, you go up to the corner and go, you know, ring into it. And then, um, you know, get rid of negative energy. Because uh, energy tends to get trapped in the corners of our houses. I think it's another reason why they made them squares. <laughs> Just to trap energy. So you can also use the bell for as an energy clearing. So anyway, there's lots of ways to ring the bell. So just thought I'd show you how I do it.